Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Reflection Show in the Mirror. This is Ramsey Rosari. And guess who just got into the hot seat today? Not only is his edge fresh, <laughs> not only did he steal the waves when the sea got the part, <laughs> but we have TC Stallings. Oh, TC, how you feeling today? I'm feeling great, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Man, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. You are here in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. How's the weather treating you? Good, good. It's, it's a little, little humid, but... You know, yeah. just like at home, I'm used to the heat, so it's oh, all good. Hopefully the humidity didn't mess up your hair. No, no, no. <laughs> My wife, maybe. Oh, no, your no. wife? Oh, she's over there. She said, yeah. <laughs> she said, I got to make sure it's always on point. Yeah, yeah. We got to make sure you're camera ready. Yeah. So, TC, tell me a little bit about yourself as far as what do you like to eat? What I like to eat? Uh, your let's favorite see. food? Fruit? Favorite food? Yeah. Probably pizza. Pizza. Why pizza? Just love it, man. It's good. It's you can't. It's hard to mess up meat, cheese, and bread. I mean, meat, just, cheese, and know. bread. So that lets me know you're sim You're simple. You're simple. You're a simple guy. Yeah, for the most part, I love. I love pizza. And, you know, when I get to eat whatever I want, just to have fun. Yeah. Pizza, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, those are those are my, my main two things. And pancakes. And pancakes. Yeah. Now that's interesting. Why pancakes? Yeah, it just tastes good. It's, it's, it's cake <laughs> he and eats syrup, a lot man. of carbs. <laughs> And you and you're in shape like this. Yeah, because that's not my regular. Those are my okay. when I treat myself. That's you know? when you cheat. That's, so that's it's a difference cheat. between what I like to eat and uh, what I usually eat all the time. Mm. You know, what I usually eat all the time is just you yeah. know your, your lean meats and that kind of thing. Yeah, I keep it really clean. Really you, clean. You can't. You can't. That's good. I'm, pra I'm, 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 I'm practicing that, that right now. <laughs> I'm practicing that. I think I ate too bad that I lost my hair at the age of 23. <laughs> you ate so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I know you never heard that before, but I'm a country boy. So, you know, we right. eat everything. Hog meat, yeah. deer, we deer, everything. Yeah. So, even with you being disciplined yeah. in what you eat yeah. and the simple life that you have. Mm -hmm. So, that leads to make me to understand about your, your testimony. Mm -hmm. I remember years ago you were here and you spoke at this amazing award show. Mm -hmm. And you spoke about your testimony from a mm -hmm. football player and to an actor. You moved to L.A., had a job as a youth pastor, you lost your job, mm -hmm. and you had everything in storage, didn't know what in the world was getting ready to happen. Yep. Well, all of a sudden, years before, you did a backflip <laughs> with these guys, yep, yep. right? And then the same guys, you're looking to a film, and they needed to do war room. Yep. And here you go, you get the phone call, get the phone call. and you're here in LA shooting this movie, and it just went skyrocket from there. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel today, sitting in this chair, as you're reflecting on this story? How do you feel today as TC Stallings? Well, I love it because it's just, it's something that is well documented. You can't take away from me, and I get to point it right to the Lord and say, all I did right was allow Him to shift my passions. Yeah. Because I want to play football. He said no. I'm shifting your passions to this, and then I got a documented list of <laughs> I don't know what's going on with right. Him saying it doesn't matter. What you know, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that I'm out in front. Right. And I'm, I'm putting together something that, in the end, you're gonna be able to share. And every, all people can do is look at it because it's yeah. not, it's proven. It can't. Yeah. It's no lie. It's proven. And now you got, and I'm telling you that God yeah. did it. And you show me. If you don't believe it, show me that He didn't. And, you know, it's just. So I just, how I feel now is just, I feel honored that He chose me and felt that I could handle that. Wow. That He built me to handle that yeah. and go through all of that. That, that this could be anybody, yeah. but yeah. He chose me. And here I am, and, and I'm called to tell the story, and I keep getting an opportunity to do it. So I'm just, I'm encouraged because I know it's not gonna go out and not come back yeah. with people knowing him. So I'm excited. And you know what I find so interesting? Because that day you sold my wife. You said this, and my wife just like, oh my God, babe, I think I found my favorite actor. <laughs> when you said that the scene where you, it wasn't her leg, it was your wife's leg. Right. And my wife said, hold up. They can do that in movies. I said, babe, they be panning the cameras. Sure. They get all that together. But for somehow, he managed to make his wife feel comfortable sure. in that scene. Absolutely. And you know, from a man perspective, I grew up in a home where my father had 35 kids mm -hmm. and single home. My mom worked in the fields for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And for a man to come and to allow his wife to be part of something that he's passionate about to protect and to save his marriage. What went on through your mind when you made that decision? Take, take me back. Oh, sure. There's a couple things, man. Uh, first off, we can give a lot of credit to the Kendrick brothers because that's the way that they run their sets anyway. 
one of the main things that they like yeah. to protect marriages and we know how this stuff can go. Right. So that's just giving credit to them. For me personally, yeah. I just don't listen. At that point, I've been married 14, 14, 15 years. 14, 15 years? Yeah. And dude, you still look like you're 21. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What? What am I eating? Yeah. I, I need it. Where do you live? Yeah. And I'm in SoCal. Yeah. Southern Cal? Yeah. That's yeah. where I need to move to. Maybe the community is <laughs> not bad. The air. The air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we, and, you know, we're going on 17 years uh -huh. in, uh, in June, you know, and so. For Congratulations! Me, thank you. I, I, I got. I, I, I got. I got to stop and applaud Absolutely. you. Because the way you get that is you. Like I said before, after God, that's what you put first. You right. know. And for me, it's listen. I want to treat her the way I want to be treated. Right. And that's paramount for me in order right. to be able to do this. Is she has to be comfortable. You know, I've been people's husbands and people's boyfriends and people things like that. Right. And she knows I'm not gonna kiss another woman. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna. I'm not gonna get into any of that stuff. And I respect. For sure. Now, did you hear how I put the, the how I sound that? I, I respect did. that. Absolutely. You can't pay me. You can pay me five, six, twenty, eighty million dollars to upset my marriage. <laughs> Hold up! Wait a minute. Let's put a pause in and repeat that. You can't do what? You can't pay me no amount of money to upset my man. Look at that camera and say it again because I, I, there, there are people <laughs> watching that Look. and they need to hear that because a lot of people are laying down their marriages oh, for, for sure. their success and their dream. Right. So you have to let everybody go. Say it again, TC. You can't pay me any amount of money to upset my marriage. And the reason being is, okay, so I go and I, and I you know, kiss this other woman and get all do all this stuff and then I get a divorce and right. I'm in my you know million dollar mansion by myself by yourself and I have dishonored God because you know I know he ain't led me to do any of that he would have put her first so what right. I look like putting her second and there's just no amount of money you can put on that and you know, right. so it's just, there's no way I'm, I'm I'm you just you just can't do it I'm not even I wouldn't and then I don't even understand how people do it. I, I don't get into all of that. I just yeah. don't understand how people, you know, do it. I would, I would never agree to it if yeah. it was reversed as well. You know, it's just that's that's my wife, man. Yeah, I'm not. Sharing. You better say, you better say it again. <laughs> that's my wife. Yeah. I wish Ray Charles was here so he could play a little something. Yeah, that's my wife. And I'm wife. sure she's the same way. You yeah. know, and so yeah, it's just it. You know, it's it's it'll never happen. You couldn't. It's not worth it. She's worth yeah. more than any dollar figure that you can. Wow. Now, are there. you saying that because she's behind the scenes right now, or no? I'm is... saying it because after 17, <laughs> no, after 17 films, you know, I get it. It's like, listen, I we she knows as well as I do. We could. Right. There are some roles if I would be okay with watering down my faith or mm. uh, changing up, dirtying up my language a little bit, mm. um, or or being willing to be intimate with other women on screen. Right. I'd be a gazillionaire. And if that was important to us, we could have already done that. Right. And then I could hide behind the fact that she agreed to it. Or however, we could, if, but it's just, the reason I'm saying it, because collectively for us, it's just, it's not a desire. It's not right. a desire at all. And I don't think it's honoring for, I for sure know it ain't honoring for my marriage. Right. You know, uh, I know people figure out a way to make it yeah. biblically right if they can. I don't get, I don't even want to investigate that. <laughs> I'm, I love he said, I just like to keep it simple. I, I like my pizza yeah. with cheese. Yeah. Add a little meat to it if I got to pay another dollar. But let me know before you charge my car. I don't want to pay this dollar. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. That's, That's interesting. Yeah. So even leading to that with your wife and your career, you know, one thing I, 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 I told you I brought you a surprise. Okay. Right? I told you I brought you a surprise, right? right? Sure. Now, the reason I say the surprise because it means so much to me. And I was at a place. Now, I got invited by a friend to go to this event. I didn't know where I was going. He said, dress up, wear a suit, come on, we're going, right? I'm, I'm, I'm at a state of my faith where um, I was explaining to the gentleman, I was top sales in Florida for the corporate office, ADT mm -hmm. sales, and I was at a place where God was talking to me in my faith mm -hmm. about getting ready to jump. Then all of a sudden, someone gives me this book. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and The Pursuit. Yeah. It talks about your journey. Yep. And as soon as I opened the book and I related when it talked about sports yep. and your desire, and then you had a gym. Yep. You're talking about running a successful gym for in a place that you could have made millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You tell your family you're packing up, you're leaving, and here at the same time, I'm in my faith, I'm telling babe, 
God is telling me I need to leave this job. I'm making over $70,000 a year. She's like, wait, I'm living it good. He's telling me we gotta, I gotta move. Mm -hmm. Then she says, you know what? If you really hear from God, read this book. So she <laughs> buys this book for me. And I begin to read it. And all I could hear was stepping out on water mm -hmm. and truly trusting where God is. Mm -hmm. Do you realize, TC, how many lives you've changed with this book? Oh man, I wonder about it, you know. I mean, feel it, I feel it, because I think I think you have to go back and reflect on it. it, it it's, you ever seen a movie where you touch the book? Well, what was it? It's not Blank Man, but it was a movie where you touch the book and they can dance or they became, um, uh, it, it's the guys with the gold hair. Um, I see it on Bounce TV, but I'll come back to it. But this book has a lot of power to it. Yes. And that's the wisdom and the testimony God has given you. Yeah. When you're reflecting, you look at this. What was TC in his train of thought was thinking about when he wrote this book? Man, I tell you, the, the first thing was, uh, a lot of people don't even know how the book came about. Um, but when I got let go from that job, yeah, uh, <laughs> this book has 14 key lessons in it. Oh, I know. I, I plan my I plan my ministry ahead, and these were all the things that I was planning to teach the kids throughout the year. Now, when you're surprisingly let go, and uh, I remember <laughs> condensing that lesson down into one hour, right, to teach them all of these things. I said, "Listen, I'm going to treat this like I may never see you again," and uh, and I had this for you, and I know the Lord wanted me to teach this to you, so I'm going to do. So I did that. Um, when I looked at how it went. Right. I say, you know what, this needs to go around the world. So when right. I go speaking, I'm going to work this in somehow. And I went and I did the same lesson in front of people. And afterwards, everybody kept saying, what was that third scripture? Wow. What was that ninth scripture? What was that fifth scripture? And, it, and I, I wasn't prepared to answer all these questions. So someone wow. said, you need to write this down. So if I could just get my hands on this or whatever. So then I go and I took the lessons and I wrote this. And what I said was... Lord, if you want this to get around, because this is a way to speak to people as if you would never speak to them again. It covers everything, your faith. Yeah. So, I, so I did that. Now I'm sitting there, and uh, one of the, we're still promoting War Woman at the time. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer Willingham calls me, who helps with, she's with Icon And PR. that's my wife named Jennifer. There you go. Shout out to my wife, Jennifer. There you go. Hey, Jennifer. There's a Jennifer here, too. Yeah. I guess Jennifers are really popular. There you go. Well, this uh -huh. one, I didn't even, it's funny. I didn't know who I was talking to, but I was always polite to people. To make a long story short, she turned out to be someone that connected me to Broad Street Publishing, who was on All the right. back. She just said, what are you working on? And I let her, she said, uh, I said, I'm working on this, this little book. And she said, can I read it? Sure. Let her read it. Next thing you know, that's how the pursuit came about. Wow. You don't get the pursuit if I don't get fired. That's my point. <laughs> you know, I, Wait, say that again. Or you, don't you, get the pursuit. Yeah, if I didn't get fired, if you, didn't get you fired. wouldn't get Tony Jordan in War Room, nor would you have gotten the pursuit. Because right. I just, those things came from the firing. 30 minutes later, I get the role, and then, you know, what was it, three, four, five months later, I'm like, uh, the students, you know, I, when I got fired, I had to reconstruct this message for the students. That, yeah. became, that is what the pursuit is. That's the same message that I delivered to those students in that order. So, what I'm thinking when I'm writing it is that how awesome God brings it about yeah. that, I've, that you get me to this point, because I had never written a book before. Mm. And I uh, never. Written never in your before. life. Didn't know, have any connections. Didn't have anything. I'm literally sitting in front of my computer. I typed out the message, and within a matter of months, right. I'm as published as anybody who has all the connections and all the. Because so for me, it was just like God. You, you know, when you're out in front and you get these things that you want a person to do, you don't lie in scripture when you say you'll equip them to get it done. And right. So I'm just. And when you meant when you said, "Do I know how many people change the world?" That's what me and my wife talk about a lot of times. That. At first, I wanted to see that book become a number one bestseller yeah. and all these different things. And you you do that because you know if that happens, a lot of people have read it. Yeah. But what I realized is that, see, I hear stories like this, and you got people who, who will buy like five books and they'll give it to five people that they don't need. These, the, these don't show up on Amazon. Right. These don't show up. So my book's not, it's not a bestseller. Yeah. But I would trade that now for what you just said, and I hear a lot. My book is a life changer yeah. for him. And the prerequisite for it to be a life changer isn't for it to be a bestseller. But you know what, though? And your book is the bestseller, but your book is the bestseller for faith and not, yeah, and, and not fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, 
the transaction that happens within a person, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it doesn't decline. Yeah. And your book has taught me that when someone fires you, when your job fires you, that is God approval for a miracle. Depending on how you got fired. Depending yeah. on, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you got fired. That's what I like about it. I tell you, if you, if you get, if, you, if anything, what I explain to people when it comes to your purpose is that right. there is this thing called ordained pain. Is oh what my. I kind of coined it. It's like, come on, Moses. If, if within, your, <laughs> within your purpose, right. if God says you got to go through something that's going to hurt, that's right. the kind of pain you want. Yeah. You don't want the kind you create for yourself. Well, so if I go and I'm dishonest on my job, or I do, and you get fired, well, you yeah. can't go claiming the blessings and graces of God. You know, whatever you want mercy now, just help me. You know, I messed <laughs> up. You know, but if you do everything you're supposed to do, and you've yeah. been praying, and you're you're listening to the Lord, and you're working so hard, you know, right. and you get let go, you're like, wow, what? You know, I don't understand. And it's just right. like, all right, Lord, if I did something wrong, you know, like is that there's grace and purpose in that right and that is a no to that but it's a yes to something else and it's just you just gotta let that happen you know guys me and tc can sit here and have barbecue ribs all day <laughs> or maybe cheese pizza before we leave here and close off with the show i uh i know june 4th is the yeah. beginning of Brothers another great keeper. legacy that you're yeah. going to be leaving behind yeah. when the years to come. Yeah. Uh, my brother's keeper. Yeah. With this amazing, I met them earlier, Jesse, Joel, yep. all these amazing guys, Ty, uh, yep. Bishop, Mackie, all these guys. So tell me, uh, what is your reflection as far as your relation to this, to this my brother's keeper? Because now I feel like you're my brother's keeper because yeah. yeah. iron sharpens iron, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So tell me your, a little bit about that. No, I'm excited. It's, uh, I play a character named Travis. You know, he's a war veteran and a tough guy, but he's dealing with like three major things. There is the fact that he's you know, have a faith struggle going on, uh -huh. but he has PTSD. What's that? You know, for those who's watching, post traumatic stress. Okay. Uh, and he's dealing with that. It's a post traumatic stress deficiency. Yeah. And uh, this is to give you an example of what that's like. You know, we celebrate Fourth of July. Right. All these firecrackers going off. Everybody's happy. Kids love it. Well, someone suffering from PTSD could be having the worst day of their life because mm. this reminds them of, of a war and oh, guns wow. and bullets and all this type of. I mean, they could be, you know under a table somewhere going crazy because of these sounds and things like yeah. that. So just dealing with that, uh, the pride that comes with, I can take care of myself because I'm a strong army you yeah. know, veteran versus you need Jesus, man. Like you need some help, and, uh, but you don't want that help. You want to take care of yourself. You know, right. that's one of my favorite lines. They say, hey, we're here to help you. He's like, do I look like I need your help? <laughs> wow. Because, you know, Wait, this, well, you, you said it with that face. Well, well, I'm working on like five different ways <laughs> okay. to deliver that. <laughs> I might help you, right? That's like the one. I might I'm help you, Joe. I might be able to help. <laughs> 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 With the little head. With the head. But uh, but yeah, so I'm just really excited because yeah. it's some. Uh, it's the most emotionally challenging right. ride that I've had to date because right. you're dealing with those things: PTSD, a faith struggle, pride, yeah. and uh, so yeah, and it, it's shedding light on PTSD, which yeah. affects a lot of people. I want to yeah. do it justice, you know. I want people who, who struggle with it to say, TC, TC. you know, he he he, he nailed it. I mean, he, yeah. you know, he didn't make light of it, or he didn't make us look weird, or yeah. you know, he didn't fall into a stigma when he did it. He he really did it justice, and I'm glad he shed light on it. So wow, I'm guys. Yeah. <sighs> Man, this is better than a, 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 a one of, you know, when you pull up to the McDonald's driveway, you get an ice cream for a cone for a dollar. This is better than that. This is better than uh, 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 what they call a Ruth Crisps. Right? <laughs> Stay out. It's better than that. <laughs> Guys, this is TC Stallings. Uh, hopefully, sooner or later in life, I can do a life about you um, on the Reflection Show to get a little bit more in depth, pull yeah. a great unscripted story out of you. Sure. Um, because today, you just. You brought life to those who are watching this. And I, as I always say on the show, there's someone at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe they're stuck in a cubicle and they're stuck and they're thinking, how can I become what God has called me to be? And hopefully they're listening to this message on the Reflection Show in the Mirror. With Ramsey Rizar, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you not only uh, Wakanda forever, but uh, <laughs> T.C. Stalin's himself. T.C., thank you so much. Uh, we will see each other again soon, and uh, congratulations to you and your wife on your 17th year 17. of marriage, and congratulations on your book. You. Again, make sure you guys get this book. It will be on the screen, I promise you. Um, babe, thank you for the book.
if it wasn't for you and you really listening to God, we probably would not have this deep conversation we have today. So guys, thank you for watching the show. This is Ramsey Rizard. And remember, as I always say, your experience matters. Thank you.